Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to find the journal entries that you've made in QuickBooks Online. There's a handful of ways to do this, just like there's a handful of ways to do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the spot where I make a new journal entry. So plus new, click on journal entry. This will bring up my journal entry screen. I can click on the rewind clock in the upper left hand corner to look at recent entries. From here, I can also click on view more. What it's really doing is showing the list of journal entries I've made in this account over the last two years. So for you, the from will likely be two years from whatever date you're doing it. A second way to get here if you didn't want to do what I just did, let me take you to like get a start over point. A second way to get here is to go to the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner. On the bottom, say go to transaction search. You can then select the transaction type. So I'm just going to scroll down and choose journal. And it's going to show me the two journal entries I have in here for this year, but I really thought we looked at more. So let me change my date range. I had to go back and look and see, cause I remembered this list being longer. What we saw on the other screen were the two journal entries. What we see here are all the different lines for the two journal entries. So journal entry one has two lines. Journal entry two has three lines. I'll just click on it so you can see it. So they're both two routes to the same place. It just depends on where you're at when you're thinking about it and thinking, oh gosh, I want to look at an old journal entry. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them below. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you so much.